you were saying. We're just trying to change the world here, people. Oh, really? Okay, I'm going to do that again because you said juicy over it. And that's just weird. (laughs) 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 Juicy. Five. Five. Four. I'm the one that's supposed to be loopy. I'm on coding. I don't know what's wrong with you guys. Five, four, three, two, one. We're just trying to change the world here, people. Oh, really? Welcome back to Really Radio. This is the last gasp segment. Our personal picks for show 130, Friday, October 28th, 2016. I'm glad, because we're having problems apparently counting from fall to one. It's yep. Just maybe a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I'm... The countdown was juicy. Let's go. The countdown you. was juicy. Oh, God. Now I'm going to have to include it, aren't I? No. Yeah, I'm going to have to include that now. I, no, I really, first uh, put it at for the For specials. End, uh, blooper. For specials. Oh, uh, bloopers. Okay. Well. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> bloopers do happen. So um, I, I've i been under the weather this week, so I don't really have any picks other than uh, Tylenol 3 codeine cough syrup with, uh, with expectorant and all sorts of things. It's some pretty amazing stuff. But uh, that's not something I'm ever going to put in print. So, ah. so Stephen, you've got uh, awesome background sounds for any occasion. I came across this. Uh, I came across my Facebook feed in this, this little image somebody posted up. I'm like, sounds kind of cool. Um, it's this website called AmbientMixer.com. That's Ambient-Mixer.com, where it literally is like typically eight channel, just ambient, constantly looping sounds of random things like you like you always have those white noise generators that, that are like weather run of rain sounding sound of thunder they have ones like that like they the perfect storm which is on the main page are you a massive fan of harry potter they have every single house common rooms sound plus things like the library uh the great hall now this isn't really and some of them you might have some background music for the most part it's just like the noise you would hear just sitting in there i find it for a little bit I've used it for, you want to sit down and have ideas for writing. Well, you can probably find something on here that will match the scene you're trying to write to really put you in that mood. Uh, You want to find something for, you know, a game. You want to have background music for that. They have stuff actually for, like, D&D, like, taverns and inns, or, you know, trains going by, or a fantasy village, or a ship at sea. You know, you have all of these capabilities just, like, set there and grilled ambiance. And the nice thing is, yeah, you've got the capability of adjusting all of these channels to how loud they are, whether you want them muted, uh, how random you want them to be, if you want them random, what crossfade you want, how often they should occur if they're a thing like, you know, thunder, the sound of a thunderbolt or, like, thunderstorm coming through. Um, you can even make your own. You know, you want your own type of thing. When they have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different basically sound pieces you can throw in there i've you know i've technically had the uh perfect storm one running in my computer when i sit down at it for about a day now and i just pause it when i'm gone i come back to the computer i turn it on set there go set it and let it go Hmm. they even have ones for if you want to say you want that perfect proper just meditation music they've got it just zen out to it's they've got a search bar you can search for anything they've got sections where you can go by you know like uh like environmental games uh human holiday movies and series and things like that and it's just this amazing beautiful thing that i'm planning on using for my gaming but also just for like to give me inspiration for writing i can just zoom out to it or again one of the people i re- i saw their review on it for he said they use it for studying, and it's probably the reason they graduated with a 3.97. Wow. <laughs> because they literally would just run one of these in the background, like, you know, the Ravenclaw common room, which is just scribbling on paper. Occasionally you hear a paper being turned, a slight voice in the background, fire crackling a little bit, uh, a clock going, you know, what you would expect in the Ravenclaw common room. And just that just lets them zen out and block out everything around them and then just concentrate on what they're doing. I love this site. I want to see how much more I can take it. But I, from what little I've used it so far, I highly recommend this for 
writers, for gamers, and just people who want to listen to just cool stuff that you can just run in the background. Here we have, I'm, I'm loading up the Slytherin common room, because it was the one of the first ones that came up. And come on, it's loading the pencil scratching right now. You're actually looking into the uh, the machine I have the uh, all the the sound drops on. So I'm, it's it's not the fastest machine ever, but it was the easiest way that I have to to pipe extra audio into the show, uh, nice and cleanly. So come on, come on, load that pencil scratching. Come on, come on, internet, you could do it. Seven of eight. Come on. And we've broke it. You might just have to refresh it. I did notice that... Uh, yeah, it looks actually like maybe the... Yeah, it, it, it apparently broke it. Okay. So, <clears throat> I did see at the top, though, that there's a... Um... Oh, that's because it's running Shockwave. Yay. Mm -hmm. um, I did see that uh, that there's also a mobile version. Have you tried the mobile version? I have not tried the mobile version yet because I've mostly been, you know, for me it's mostly if I've got my phone with me, I'm probably at work, which means I'm not allowed to actually have it on, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or I'm just in my car driving, in which case I'm probably listening to an audiobook. Um, so I haven't tried the mobile version yet, but definitely tried the desktop one. It's again, I've definitely enjoyed that so far. Come on, come on, you can do it. You can do it. So close. Still going as long as it's still moving. I'd I'd like we to hear hope. what the, I'd like to hear what this sounds like. Oh, I love live demos, don't you? <laughs> live demos are so awesome. Seven of eight pencil scratching. Scratch your heads, scratch your heads, scratch your heads. Scratch your scratch. Scratch, scratch. Scratch. I could cut this out of the final version. Just the waiting. That's fair. I could. I probably won't though, because that's I'm lazy. That's time. That's time that I don't have. That I'm going to take from all of you. All of you listeners. Really? Really? Yeah. Okay. It looks like the Slytherin common room is not something that's going to going to load up well for us here, so let's It refuses to be loaded with her with Gryffindors in the room. That must be it. That must be it. Um that or just the web page is uh, it's it's too much for this little machine, this little tiny machine that it's I. It's too heard. much. We sum up. Yeah. So, uh, but it, it did load the uh, the rain ambience, and that was that was nice. That was really good rain ambience. It um, is. It is very good. So it's uh, looks like. Download our mobile app for Apple and Android devices. So there there are actual um, apps. The the free app uh, contains all atmosphere, all features except for saving atmospheres. For the low, low price of $4.73 for Android, uh, you get all the features. And for the uh, equally low price of $4.99 on uh, Apple, you get all the features as well. So, very cool. Something to look at. And this is Ambient Mixer, ambient-mixer.com. Go check oh, it out. this is awesome. There's some good stuff here. We, we need to show this to uh, to our GMJ. He's, he'd, oh, yeah. Uh, he'd like this. He'd like this. Okay. So, David, do you have any picks? I don't this no time. Picks. No picks. No picks. That's okay. I don't play guitar, so I have no picks. I'm trying to trying to get my, <laughs> to get my little girl to, <laughs> to learn guitar. Nice. But, uh... <laughs> uh, Rocksmith 20. 14, whatever it was, the latest version. Actually, not too bad. I need to really start working on it and doing it, but overall, it's actually not a bad program. It's essentially teaching you how to play guitar via games. Oh, cool. You um, actually have an electric guitar, you plug into it and play. Gosh, you know what I forgot to do? Mm. I forgot to actually put the credits in. As far as... Well, we can, just, we, we can do it live. We could do it live. Uh, or I could try to add it right now. No, it doesn't matter. Okay. Well, <clears throat> that is it 
for the show, I guess I could, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do a different song today. There we go. Not sure if you guys can hear it or not, but I know that I can, and therefore so can the audience. So, all right, <clears throat> that's it for tonight. We'll be back live next Friday about 9.30 p.m. Eastern. In the meantime, the conversations continue on the web. Head over to O'ReillyRadio.com. That's O-R-L-Y-R-A-D-I-O.com for all the links right at the top of the page, and you can watch us. Watch us and like us on Facebook. Follow on Twitter, Tumblr, Google+, Plus if that thing's still around. And, of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel and the Twitch channel so you know when we're live and when we've got all those wonderful episodes uploaded for you. Uh, you can also uh, do everything just directly from our webpage where we've got, uh, got the chat where Mama Van has been, uh, been a loyal member of our peanut gallery the whole night. Um, if you stay with us this whole way, all the way through the credits, all the way through the six shows that we're now doing every week, <laughs> um, how about you give us a hand? You know, if, if you have a few dollars to spare, that's awesome. You can contribute to the Patreon, get early access to the shows, and maybe some special perks here and there. And um, you can just follow the Patreon link uh, on the webpage. That'll take you over to patreon.com slash Radio. You can also make one-time donations via the donate button. Um, but, you know, if you can't fit us into rainy day funds, do us a solid share the show, leave us a review, and we're always looking for new ideas for the show. So you can just send all of those, all of your questions, comments, concerns, and ideas over to Podcast at gmail.com. Uh, if you're the more talkative sort, and of course, of course you are, how about you give us a call at 470 222 O-R-L-Y, 6759. It's always ready to take your call or your text. Can't thank you enough for spending some time with us tonight. Until next time, this has been O'Reilly Radio, part of the Cowan Services Network. Thank you, gentlemen. My guests tonight have been Stephen Griffith and David O'Connor, and without whom I would not have a show. So, thanks, guys, and we'll I'm see I'm glad we could step in for you. <laughs> exactly. And we'll see we you could do next week. Totals! That was a juicy show. Theme for the night, baby. <laughs> so how was a really radio show number third number one thirty? Juicy. Juicy. I can't take you guys anywhere. Did you see that show last Wait, night? Oh hold on. You don't take us anywhere now. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> now I finally finished the book. Oh? Yeah. I I, I now want more series. I, I want more. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Um, I noticed that uh, Audible has, uh, if you're also an Amazon Prime member, they've opened up uh, some limited series to just unlimited listening. So I, um, uh, one that I've meant to get into was Larry Niven's Ringworld. I had never, never listened to them, never read them, uh, but they had uh, the first one, Ringworld itself, um, available, and now I'm. Now I'm pretty hooked, and, and now I've got to load them all up. And there's a lot in that series. So that should keep me busy for a while. That's fair. I could probably... What I would like to actually do is do the Man Kazin series, but I've learned I can't read that series because Neven's writing is as dry as the Sahara Desert, even during the most exciting parts. I didn't find that. I At least for me, because I tried to read the Man Kazin Wars, and I got about two chapters in, and I went... I really, really want to be excited about this, but it's written in such a way I'm just kind of going, wow, this is dry. Hmm. I don't know where that fits in his timeline of, uh, of his works, but I, I know that he's, uh, he's been rather prolific, so he's, he's got a lot of stuff out there. But, um, gentlemen, I, uh, I'm sick, and I need to go to bed. So, Get uh, I am now hitting stop on all the streams.